Welcome to this brief webinar on basics of navigation uh, on business by design. Okay, navigating around uh, business by design is very, very simple. Um, usually when uh, an employee logs in, they have a specific business role um, assigned to their account. Now in this example, I'm just uh, logging in as a sales representative, so I have literally uh, four work centers um, to navigate around. Across the top of the screen we have the by design logo here and also who I'm logged in as, personalized options and help options across the top. Below that we have a home work center, account management work center, new business and sales order work centers. These represent the role that I'm assigned to in the by design system. Down the left hand side we have enterprise search facilities, shortcuts, and the collaboration tool, and over on the right hand side we have help center, shelf, and tag features. Help center is where you should always go to find out anything about the system, anything about uh, what's coming, and anything that's new um, from an end user perspective. When a user first logs into SAP, they see their welcome screen. This is not personalized to that end user. Now, um, on a daily basis, when a user comes into work, wants to log into by design, they want to see something instant, either some reports or some work list that's relevant for them. To do this, each user has the ability to personalize their own screen. This is achieved by going to the personalize function at the top right hand side. Um, and then choosing the personalize this screen option. What you then are presented with is a column on the right hand side which shows you all what is available for, navig for navigating and customizing uh, the screen. As you can see we have this getting started uh, option here followed by some home links, some RSS feeds and some reports. These are, the, these are standard if I wanted to um, either hide, um, remove them, or add new ones, I can use this functionality down the right hand side to make them visible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the getting started option. I'm going to keep the home quick links and I'm going to remove my KPIs and I'm going to keep the work lists the same. To see how they look on the screen, I click on personalize layout and I can see at the moment my top work lists are going to be spread across the two areas of the screen at the top, followed by latest news, followed by two reports, and now I have the home quick links at the bottom. To reorder these, I highlight the one which is relevant, and then I can use these arrows here to move them up or down. Now, these two options are spread on different lines. I'm going to make sure that this my top work lists appears on the right hand side only and this one on the left hand side only. Now those will merge together and, and create two tiles at the top of the screen. To commit uh, the changes I click on save and close the column. The screen then refreshes and applies those changes made to the screen. To take ad ad advantage of advanced features of the screen, you can again go back into Personalize. This time, I'm going to filter on these. Not all of these um, items in the work list are relevant to me, um, so I'm going to tailor this and just to show my open items um, for, for the day. So I just again go to Personalize the screen. This time, I highlight the Home Quick Links. Which, which highlights this tile over here. Then I can scroll down and I can see now the items that are available for me to choose. So I said earlier that I wanted to just use open items. So I'm going to uncheck the other ones. As you can see now that is tailored this area here. And all I now have to do is save that screen, close the tiles, And now I can see 
the screen nice. Now at the moment, again, we've got latest news here. There's no data in there which is relevant to me, so I should really remove that. Again, personalize this screen, and I'm going to remove latest news. Now, now I've, now I've got four tile areas now which I'm happy with, and that's going to be my, my daily dashboard that I can use on a daily basis. So from a sales representative um, perspective, I've got my inbox for my open items that I need to work on, some other work lists to do with my role, and some um, basic reports, sales order volume, and one lost opportunities. I'm now happy with this, and every time I now log in as a sales rep, I will see this screen. This functionality can be used by any employee which has a username and password for the by design system. The next topic I would like to discuss is the enterprise search. Enterprise search is found over the left, left hand side of the screen um, and is, looks like a magnifying glass icon. To use the functionality here we just click on it and a little pop-up box comes up and that allows us to type in some free text. Now we can look, uh, we can filter that by uh, analytics, so looking for particular reports uh, by the business and by people, or if we just do all categories, it searches enterprise wide. I can use um, different search strings, but bear in mind that when this enterprise does enterprise search does happen, it will search the whole system. However, it does use in-memory computing, so the response rate is usually quite good. I will type in now sales orders and see what we get as a response. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, re uh, responded by finding lots of browser-based reports for us to look at. Okay, again, we can, if depending on the context of the uh, search criteria, such as sales orders um, or purchase orders, depending on what we're trying to do, um, I will type in various strings to see if it could find anything. There's nothing in, in that search criteria. But if I maybe type in a number, it will search for anything so such as sales orders, purchase order numbers, etc. Okay, there you go. You can see now it's come back with sales quote 101, sales orders 101, opportunities, leads, etc. It's done a system sweep for everything that's relevant. This is usually handy when um, you, you, you're trying to search for something specific um, from a customer service perspective. The next topic I'd like to discuss is the idea of work centers. SAP call um, works call uh, sub subsets of the screen work centers. So, for example, here, because I'm logged in as a sales representative, I've got access to only four work centers: home, account management, new business, and sales orders. However, they they are built to be familiar. So if I go to sales orders, for example, anything associated with the sales order option in Business by Design is listed here, such as sales orders, contracts, returns. On every work center, there is a reports tab to list anything relevant to the sales order. Also, usually on the right-hand side of a work center, you've got common tasks, common things that are used in this work center, such as creating sales orders, um, creating new contracts, creating new contacts, etc. As you can see, in the other work centers, new business, you can see it's broken down into leads, opportunities, and sales quotes, and account management is broken down into accounts, account hierarchies, partners, etc. Using the same format, where there's a report facility at the bottom and common tasks over the right-hand side. Sometimes it's these work centers um, have lots of options which aren't relevant for day-to-day -day business so what SAP do is provide a shortcut um, facility to always allow you to go back and, rem and it remembers where you've last gone so if I wanted to create a shortcut for a new corporate account or a new private account I just can use these icons here on the right hand side to add and remove shortcuts so if I was going to add a new private account to my list of shortcuts I can click on this plus icon here it floats over to the shortcut area on the left hand side of the screen 
and now I can see that the new private account is there. I may want to rename that, so right clicking over the top of it, I can click on rename and I can say type something new. So I've typed here new private custom for example. And to make that, that is now customized to me. Again, if I log out and log back in, those changes which I've made stay with me. They don't, they are not global changes. So if another person with another user user account logs in, they don't see your own personalized changes. I'd like to now talk briefly about the Help Center functionality. The Help Center in, by design is context sensitive, which means depending on which screen you appear, the help will, that you go to is supportive of that, that screen. The Help Center is on the right hand side here, and if I click on this link here, you will see there is a search functionality. Again, I can type in some search, and it will search anything that I, that I put in there, including anything from um, SAP's database on known issues or known solutions. Okay, but I did say it was context sensitive, so if I just click on the double arrows to reduce this window again here, and I go over to the sales order work center, new sales order, and then subsequently choose the help center option. The column that appears, you can see now shows sales orders quick create guide. If I click in here, it will then go to the Help Center database and list everything that I need to know about sales orders. As part of implementing a new Business by Design system, we always promote using SAP's e-learning. There is an e-learning um, guide in the system and it usually points you over to the Home Work Center and followed by the Learning Center. What this allows you to do is to get users basic navigation experience, get, getting onto the system straight away and understanding um, how um, processes, uh, how navigation, how to print, etc. is all encapsulated in the e-learning. So, for example, the introduction, we can say getting started with here. This is a general overview of the basic principles required to work efficiently with SAP Business by Design. Clicking on here takes you to the e-learning portal and you can see then it starts to give you an overview of the learning content available. This is one of the essential things that all users are required to do. The, the, the knowledge that has been invested in these documents is critical to a su successful go live. Finally, I would like to introduce you to the concept of um, tailoring the um, user interface to be to have corporate branding. To modify the screens based on uh, corporate image, etc., you need to have administrator rights. With administrator rights, you get the adapt functionality which is found up up here on the top right hand side of the screen. By clicking on adapt we can now go to company branding images and you can see now we have an array of different changes that we can make. For example we could add the company logo and we could either put it on the left hand side of the screen or in the center. All we have to do is browse for the relevant um, image that we're looking for, click on the logo, click on open, and then it applies the logo. And we can send, put it in the center or to the left if required. Okay, the other, the other things that we can change is the background. Again, I've applied here a black background here, and we can change the transparency in that where it's appropriate to make it more corporate. And again, on the title bar, we can add different colors and change the border colors where appropriate, if, if need be.
this is useful when you have your test systems and your production systems um, very very close very very closely designed so one can use this to determine which system you're in